Welcome to Upbeat. Lady Gaga is the queen of shock, but with every stunt performed, the challenge about doing herself becomes even greater. This time, the performer has pulled a music clip due to sexual assault claims. In true style, TMZ have obtained the exclusive footage of Gaga's song, Do What You Want. Sexual assault claims have surfaced about controversial director Terry Richardson, which sources claim changed the singer's mind about releasing the video. The performer's co-star in the clip, R. Kelly, has also had his share of sex scandals. One source has called the music video an ad for rape. Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield received their fair share of spotlight attention. Both A-list celebrities starring in The Amazing Spider-Man, the couple cannot even visit a cafe without paparazzi in tow. The actors have used the attention to raise awareness for charities close to their hearts. Hiding their faces behind handwritten signs, how could anyone not be interested as the pair left the cafe? The Easy A actor's sign indicated politely to her partners, which displayed a list of charity websites. Here's to the stuff that matters. Have a great day. It's not the first time this has happened. Bindi Irwin is the daughter of the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin and viewed by many as an appropriate role model for teenagers. Turning 16 next month, it appears the wildlife warrior has it all worked out. Swapping her khaki nature gear for a girly girl wardrobe, the conservationist has a fashion message to send all teenage girls. Dressing their age is important. The Australia Zoo rep feels really bad for girls trying to dress older by wearing revealing clothing. A television presenter and actress, Bindi feels that in 10 years time they will regret it. With the ability to see the world through eyes much older than her own, Australia's tourism ambassador sure is growing up fast. In Barcelona for the Cine Europe event, Marvel president Kevin Feige has presented footage from the new flick Guardians of the Galaxy. According to Total Film, a substantial amount was shown, revealing several spoilers. The movie has it all going on, with humour as its key. To get the best version possible, the studio president revealed every time a new movie is created, their intention is to focus on the single movie, with no sequels planned. All the good ideas go into that film. But with the plethora of storylines surrounding Guardians of the Galaxy, there are countless avenues this adventure can go down, in terms of characters, worlds and stories. The odd team will break into theatres in the US on the 1st of July. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. In true Jimmy Fallon style, The Tonight Show host loves finding celebrity strengths, weaknesses and most of all fears. Kevin Hart, leader of the gang in Think Like a Man 2, joined Fallon at Universal Orlando Resort. It soon became known that Jimmy loves a good roller coaster. Kevin, not so much. Despite nerves and almost being refused on the ride, the two manned up and took the plunge. When it was all over, Jimmy had another surprise for the comedian. We're gonna go again. We're gonna what? One more time! No, here we go! No! Stop playing, Jimmy! No! Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't! Not so funny now. Stay upbeat.